All right, we're at uh, SEMA, the SEMA Show 2021, and I'm here with, uh, we're in a booth that, well, I'll let you explain. Yeah. We're in booth 23891, we're Legacy EV, and we're an EV Systems integrator and trainer. So we sell the parts and education that people need to build out their own EV systems on their unique builds. What's the biggest uh, transition if you're a shop that's going from building vehicles where you're putting a crate engine in it or something, what's the biggest difference between doing that and doing it electric? Yeah, it's all the learning the new system, right? So in a combustion engine, you're taking out like 3,000 components and putting in like 40. So the EV system is actually a simpler system, but you have to learn what these new processes, how to connect them. And you're buying products from 12 to 15 different manufacturers. And so we build a complete kit. So you're coming to one person and then you're getting all the training you need on how to install that part. Right on. So you guys do, do you travel and train or do you have people come to your facilities? Or? Yeah, we've got a couple options for how we can train. We've built out a virtual self-paced training program. So any shop who's interested in using our parts can come to us, um, get the parts and then get trained in their own shop with a video library, handbook, a feedback loop with our team of expert design engineers, wiring diagrams, everything. Right on. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, have you seen what's like the biggest uh, hesitation people have with the switch? Yeah, it's all been about like proof of concept, right? Like proving that the industry is ready for this and that people are ready for it. And you know, if you'll talk with anybody who's been here with EV Boost for a while now, they'll say, you know, like in 2014 we came and you can tell the industry wasn't ready. In 2017 yep. we came and the industry wasn't ready. And you come here this year and the first night when they were doing the exhibitor night, they had seven vehicles come across the block on stage for that event and four of them were EV. Right on. So the industry's ready. Yeah. Um, so it's that proof of concept. Showing people these builds exist and that they're possible. I'd imagine a lot of it is get them a taste of the, the performance you can get out of a right. electric motor. Right. Yeah. It's not a golf cart anymore. Like no. when you step on it and the red seat down here, put you back in your seat. Right that on. Bronco has a thousand foot pounds of floor. So and it's, it's a good insane. time. What can you tell us anything specifically about these vehicles? Like what's the... Yeah. Anything, yeah, whatever specs. Well, So we've got like three of our authorized installers here in this booth today. So okay. each of these groups came to us wanting to do an EV system. And so we trained them up. We did the first build in our shop for the power plant swap okay. and showed them how to do it. Yeah. Now they do these reproductions in their own shop. Right on, very right. cool. Yeah, so Old Town Auto C10, Gateway Broncos, Electric Bronco. Yeah, and then behind you here is the Wild Garage electric motorcycle. Yeah, that electric bike is. So, yeah. So this is an electric C10. Uh, it's got 800 foot-pounds of torque in a 200 mile range, and it's built by Old Town Auto. It's gotta be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot is it all wheel drive or rear wheel drive? Rear wheel drive. So it's got two motors, and they're mounted in tandem, and they're in the trans tunnel. So if you look at the front, there's nothing in the engine bay. It's okay. a front trunk. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, the front. The front. Yeah, so it's got the two motors are in the trans tunnel okay. right there, and then the batteries are in the front of the bed, right against the cab. So you don't have to do like a like a, like a skateboard. Yeah. 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 No skateboard platform in the platform in these restorations. It really makes more sense to build the batteries in a way that fits within yes. the fitment of the unique build, and then mount the motors where they work as well. Yeah. Skateboard platforms. They're too, they're not universal. Right. Yeah. So how much time goes into like the actual designing and engineering for specific vehicle. Yeah. Fit with that view. Yeah, so we have built out some universal kits that will work with almost any vehicle. And so when you go to our website, you can search by year, make, and model, and we'll show you which kits work with that vehicle. And so the design that went into that was super expensive, but now the work's done. So now anybody can access it. Gotcha. All yeah, it's kind of the prototype. And right. Now you can get a kit to do it. Right, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. What's uh, What would be like the biggest difference? What's the biggest difference in driving styles between these two vehicles? Is there something that's different than it would be if they were both gas powered? Like they have different characteristics? Yeah, I would say it's really similar to the differences you would experience when you're driving the gas version okay. of them. Obviously, this one's higher off the ground and handles differently. This one's got one motor, the Bronco does, and the electric C10 has two, but the motor that's in the Bronco is super high powered motor. So this motor in this build could power a school bus. It's <laughs> right huge, on. yeah. You um, said a thousand foot pounds? Yeah, yeah. How do you uh, put together the, the motors? Are there like certain suppliers you're really comfortable with working with? Yeah, so we've got some great manufacturers that we work with that we really appreciate. We've got relationships with almost all of them in the okay. industry. 
So whatever the build is that the customers want to do, we can design a kit especially for them. If it's not it's still like kit. a small community that's kind of coming together to right. spread the gospel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's growing now. It's so like Gateway Bronco wasn't doing EV builds a year ago, but now they've got requests for them monthly that people right want this EV that's build. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to highlight or? No, man, I think I think we're really excited to support shops in their journey to being like an EV supplier and we're the one-stop shop to do that. So. Do you see yourself going into going into schools um, and like like high schools, trade schools, things yeah. like that? Yeah, we're doing like one-hour sessions with different colleges around the country right now to gauge interest on EV programs and then we've got requests to implement our curriculum in their current like JC Technical School program. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, man. I yeah, appreciate man, it. And uh, this is the future. It's cool. Yeah, thank you.